Comfort Inn of Pittsburgh offers a cozy, welcoming room with free internet access. Enjoy the indoor pool area year-round and wake up to a complimentary breakfast every morning. When staying at the Comfort Inn, you can feel at ease knowing that your satisfaction is the most important thing to us. Jason, uh, we kind of know what's at stake this week. It's going to be the biggest game you guys have had all year. What are you guys doing differently to get ready for a game like this? Uh, I really don't think we're doing actually too much different. I think we're taking it just one game at a time, and I think we just see them as our next opponent, and we're just preparing like we normally do. But like you said, I think I think some of the guys out there realize like what type of game it's going to be. They have a pretty solid offense. They love to throw the football. What are you seeing out of their uh, offense so far? Uh, see a lot of good plays. We see uh, some good. Like I said, they got a good quarterback that's playing good right now. But I think uh, we can actually. Uh, they, they run a lot of what we think we defend the best. So I think we'll actually rise to the occasion and pretty much handle what we need to handle. What's different about this Central Oklahoma team that you guys had no problems with last year to where they found you really good real quick? Uh, just, uh, I think, just becoming a, an actual team. I think they've, they've put a lot of good players together. I think they've found some good players here and there. And I think the, their coaches did a good job of preparing them this season. Uh, compared to last season, so I think that's that's pretty much the major change. What are you guys focusing on? What's going to be some keys to you know locking in a win? Uh, basically, just just playing our style our style of defense. Basically, uh, just making sure you know we get after uh, the quarterback and we basically get after anybody who has the ball. And we got eleven guys running to the ball to make sure that you know uh, no big plays happen and whatnot. But like I said, just play our style of defense. You guys have been extremely confident on the road, honestly, I think more than at home. Can you explain that at all? Why have you guys been so dominant on the road this year? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I just think uh, we get zoned in better whenever we're just around us, like our, our team. But I, I don't know what it is, but I think it's just when you go out there with the group of guys that you've been with and maybe there's not so much going against you or there's a lot of other things going against you, but it's just us out there. I think it draws more focus than the, ne the nice uh, things we do whenever we're at home and whatnot to get us distracted, but I really honestly don't know. You guys are this close to you know, sharing at least a part of the conference title, something you guys haven't done since 2011, and that year you guys won the national championship. Do you feel a little bit like that's heading toward a similar pattern? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do, but you try not to look at things like that. You try to just take it uh, one, like I said, one game at a time to make sure that, uh, the <laughs> to make sure that, uh, that you don't overlook anything. Cause I think that's, that's been our problems in the last few years is we've just overlooked certain things, but I think this year we've handled it differently. And I think, I think we're looking just at one game at a time. Jason, one year ago, you guys were in a situation, you win your last game, you go to the playoffs and it didn't happen. Does that, uh, is that in the back of your mind at all? Uh, it's in the back of your mind, but you can't let it. You can't let it show. You basically got to go out there with the confidence, knowing that you know you're going to be where you want to be at. And I feel like our whole team understands that. But yes, it is in the back of your mind, and you know you remember what happened, and you try to learn from your history and try to go out there and transfer it to the field, which I think we'll do a good job of. So does last year provide any motivation, or is it just a lesson? Uh, it's actually both. It, it gives us good motivation, and it's actually a pretty good lesson to learn from that you can't just overlook anybody, and especially with a team like UCO, I think we understand that, and I think we're going to come out and actually play some of our best ball knowing that our motivation is there. Do you like cold weather? <laughs> uh, I don't have a problem with it too much, I hope. So this is going to be your first cold weather game. Uh, does it affect anything? It's uh, no, I don't think it affects anything. I think we go out there and I think we do what we do, rain, uh, shine, snow. I think it's just basically uh, what our mentality is about the game. I think weather actually plays a better factor for us. How far have you guys come this season in your eyes? Oh, we've come a, we've come a long ways, but I think I think the potentials are all already been there. But I think that we've developed more. Uh, as men and became more mature to actually bring that out and bring out the better parts in us. Bo, does the uh, disappointment at the end of last season provide any motivation for the end of this season? 
Absolutely. You know, uh, it was heartbreaking to watch the team last year, you know, lose the last game. And, you know, it was just, you, you don't want to ever see that happen again, you know, especially with this group of guys that we got going here. You know, we, uh, we're a tight knit group and, you know, we want to, basically, we want to go all the way. How much is at stake, really, though, here? Like, you're, not only are they a game behind you guys in Northwest of taking, you know, forcing a three-way tie for the, the conference title, but, you know, it is playoff like, coming up here soon. Do you guys talk about that at all, like how important this last game really is? You know, uh, we just take it one game at a time. You know, um, we try not to overlook anyone. We try not to look ahead at all. You know, right now we're focused on UCO. What do you know about them, and what do you guys – have to do to exploit them? Uh, they're a very good football team. You know, in the MIAA, you don't get any off weeks. And uh, they're a very good, very talented defensive front, um, very athletic. You know, they're going to fly to the ball. And, you know, we're just going to try and out physical them and outrun them. How, is, how far has the offense come along? We have came a long ways. Um, here recently, we've been starting to run the ball a lot better than we have in recent weeks. And I think that's due to, you know, maturity and just becoming more of a team. Do you like the passing game a little bit more? You guys have really been clicking with that, especially with Lemon out there. I, I don't have any favorites. I don't care. As long as we put the ball in the end zone, that's, that's all that matters. What do you see out of this UCO defense besides uh, the physical and what you just said? You know, they're, you know, they're one of the best defenses we've played or we will play this season. And, uh, you know, they're just a good all-around football team. How much have they changed from last year from the game that you guys had with them into this year? I think they've matured a little. You know, they, uh, they know how to play. You know, they've been coached really well. I think that's the main difference. I know we talked a little bit about weather. How do you think the weather's going to play a part in Notre Dame? No, nah, it's not going to affect us at all. You know, we're going to be mentally tough and not let it affect us. How do you explain, you know, you guys' confidence this year going into a, you know, hostile territory and you guys still manage to dominate? How do you explain that? I really can't explain it. Um, you know, it's just... You know, we can only travel 60, and it's just us 60, and that's it. You know, there's no uh, boyfriends, girlfriends. You know, I hope no one's got boyfriends here. <laughs> you feel uh, like it's less distractions then? There, there are less distractions on the road, you know, just because it's us and the coaches, and that's it. As a center, do you do anything different with the cold weather? No, absolutely not. you snap with gloves on? or No, sir. So you're used to this weather then? Yes. Um, being from Oklahoma, you know, the weather changes to snap the fingers. So there's nothing I haven't seen yet. Oh, no, he wouldn't let me. <laughs> he wouldn't let you? Why is that? Just, I don't know, it's kind of image type deal. You know, offensive linemen, you're not supposed to wear sleeves. I know I'm <laughs> a little contradictory here, but, you know, it's just uh, it's an image of, you know, being the tough guys. And so, no gloves, it helps the image. Was your dad in the car when he told you no gloves and no sleeves? <laughs> it probably, <laughs> yeah, not, probably, or he was he was for sure bundled up. Yeah. What's the chatter been like in, you know, the locker rooms and just with all the guys in general about, you know, where you guys are? You guys are setting yourselves up. You have, you know, your fate in your hands. Uh, that's just it. You know, we have our fate in our hands, and we know that you know, we win this game and we can go on. But if not, you know, we're done, and that's motivation enough. Coach, how much really is at stake in this game? And uh, you got to get some from Oklahoma a lot of credit. They've really done a tremendous job, their staff, of getting their, getting their team turned around, and uh, they're doing it the right way. Um, but, you know, this has been this way for several weeks for us, really, you know. So uh, it's just the next game. And 
You know, our guys were really fired up. I mean, the weather's been cold, but they were fired up about practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a good one today. So, you know, I think we'll be ready to go. I think we're uh, you have the right frame of mind, and um, you know, we've we've been in some big games before and and handled it pretty well. Uh, last week was a big game. You know, the week before was a big game, and so. Uh, you know, I think our kids, like I said, I think they're in the right frame of mind, and I think they'll be ready to go. How much different is this UCLA team from last year? Um, a lot different because they have a lot of confidence right now, and uh, they've always had some good players, but they've done a really nice job of, of being very sound and like special teams. Uh, their quarterback, who's a redshirt freshman, just I, I feel like he plays like a, a senior. You know, he's very – uh, very headsy, you know, just does a lot of the right things at the right times. And and then uh, quarterback or the quarterback, the running back, receiver are all very talented. And then you throw that along with a good offensive line and, and a good defense. Uh, it's why they're they're winning all their games. They're eight and two. So it'll be a great challenge for us both sides of the ball. Is there a biggest change? Just better players? You know, uh, They've got a lot of redshirt freshmen in their top two deep, and uh, just a, a lot of kids that are back from last year. Um, but uh, again, offensive line, defensive line is where it starts, and that's what gives them a great chance to win games. And they've done a nice job there. And then, uh, like I said, their quarterback's just really, really a headsy player. Knowing it was at stake, you know, last week with Central Missouri, with them having uh, the season that they had now. No, I think this is really good for us to, to play. Um, if you're going to have a chance to, to get in the playoffs and go deep in the playoffs, then you need to play the best competition. And so this is good. And uh, it was good for us to play Missouri Southern when we did. It was very good to play Central Missouri. Again, uh, we weren't real happy at halftime how things were, were working out there. But all, on the other hand, it, it uh, presented a really great challenge for us. And it was glad, it was, you know, great to see our guys step up and, and uh, have a lot of character and get through that second half. So, no, I think this is good for us. I think it's a good thing that we're playing a, a quality team like UCO. As a coach, how does your confidence feel when you guys go on the road and dominate so well out on the road? Well, you know, when you have streaks like that, you, you everybody talks about you know you know we won however many in a row, and but every game's a new game. It's a uh, you know we have a you know, we have meetings and stuff that we go through, and you know have a you know strategy on how we kind of do things and this and that. But the bottom line is, it's probably not any different than anybody else does it. Um, so you know we've just uh, we've just been good and and on the road, and I think. Uh, Bo probably said it, you know, we, we get our guys together and uh, there are no other distractions, uh, which sometimes is a good thing. And we really get focused in on playing and, and we've been playing good on the road. So hopefully it continues. How far has this team come along this year? Well, I think I think probably more than, than the public sees because of all the things that we've had to overcome with injuries. I mean, we've, you know, you know we've been most of the season without two of our four captains and uh, in Jeff and Tyler. And then uh, Coach Wells has had to move people around in the offensive line, and and uh, that's just something you don't want to have to do. And he's done a really nice job of doing that. And, and uh, you know, we've, we've, we've overcome a lot that, you know, you know, every team has injuries and has things they have to overcome, but not a lot of times it's not, you know, a couple of your best players on your team too. So I think, I think they've really grown and really, uh, you know, they are a close group, and they, they have stepped up and really met some tough challenges. We saw Jeff last week. Will we see him more this week? I don't know yet. Um, it just depends on how the day goes. Um, but if he, you know, if, if, if he can go, then he will. But I, I'm not sure that he'll be ready yet. Does the weather present any type of challenge for you guys? Um, you know, Wind can. I don't think temperature does, but wind and rain could possibly, you know, be a challenge. Um, so right now we're throwing it around pretty good, and you know we uh, are pretty confident in our passing game and some of the things that we can do there. So that could always be a challenge. 
but again, it's there for both teams, and and they're you know they're running it and throwing it pretty well too. So um, this is one of those things we feel like we talk about the weather in always in our favor because uh, what we do with our kids in the off season, we feel like we push them pretty hard, and that's where they get their mental toughness to to be able to push through stuff like that. How much do you guys really care about you know getting that MIAA title? You haven't had it since 2011 when you guys won and won the national championship. Does that anywhere in the back of your mind? Oh yeah, that? oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we think we want it really bad, and um, you know, you know, I, our coaches we uh, you know get in the meetings in the mornings and and uh, it's pretty quiet just because everybody's really focused on you know trying to get everything done and making sure we don't leave any stone unturned and we want to make sure that we give our players, uh, you know, the best opportunity to go out and win. So, you know, I think uh, there's no question our coaches and players are, are very hungry to get that. Do you have to bring up the disappointment of last season at the end? No, not at all, because it's a different year, different week, you know. Um, we don't bring that up. I mean, try to just look at all the positives instead of the negatives. As a staff in recent years, did you have trouble keeping John Brown's touchdown celebrations under wraps? Um, you know, and that's, that's a good question because, there, you know, there's a couple times where he's really excited and runs into the crowd and these, those officials, they run over there and, and they try to break it up or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's John's just an emotional guy. And there's a couple times he had touchdowns here where he got pretty excited, but he didn't break out the peanut butter and jelly here. Yeah, what do you think about that, Dan? I think it's awesome. I think it's pure emotion and pure excitement, and it uh, just shows uh, what, how exciting a player he is. There's been some videos floating around about y'all's locker room throwing out the peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I haven't. They're kind uh, of funny. They're kind of funny. I, I will send you a few of them. Okay. Maybe you should. Yeah. Have yeah. Is there a chance you'll do that Saturday? <laughs> well, uh, we just we just want to win the game. Impressions of Jerry Kills dance? Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. Uh, I told him that, you know, I saw his dance and my wife showed me, and and uh, I said, John's got the peanut butter and jelly, so you have to come up with a name for years, but uh, you and John may have to get together and go to Dancing with the Stars or something. I don't know. So, but uh, no, Coach Gillett had a huge win. You know, that's a big win, and they turn around and play punky Ohio State this week. So, so we'll see what happens. The Holiday Inn Express of Pittsburgh has flexible meeting spaces, complimentary internet access, a free hot breakfast bar in the morning, and an indoor pool that the whole family will enjoy. Come book a room at the newest hotel in Pittsburgh, the Holiday Inn Express.